It's this time of year when you have to make some cranberry sauce. I'm making two varieties of it. The first variety is going to have a little bit of alcohol in it. The second variety I'm going to make is a little bit sweeter. Let's start with ingredients for the first variety. I have two heaped tablespoons of orange juice concentrate. Of course, a bag of cranberries. I have a bunch of spices, that's juniper berries, a cardamom pot, and a few cloves. I have a half cup of brown sugar. I have an orange, untreated. Since we're gonna use the zest, if you cannot find an untreated organic orange, there is orange oil essence available. Use that instead before you get a lot of pesticides and wax and whatnot in your sauce. And an untreated lemon. We're going to use the zest of that too. Again, if you cannot find an untreated one, you can buy lemon oil. That's actually good to have around anyways, because every time you make like lemon pasta or something where you would need zest, you can always use a couple drops of that and it will taste the same. Further, we have a little bit of fresh grated nutmeg. Then we have a shot of pomegranate juice, a shot of port wine, and a shot of water. Here are the ingredients for the second variety I'm gonna make. Two heaped tablespoons of apple juice concentrate, an apple, preferably not a very sweet one, an untreated lemon, an untreated orange. We are gonna use the zest of that. Of course, cranberries, a half cup of sugar, and some rosemary. Let's start with the prep. I'm gonna zest the orange and the lemon, so I have that available when cooking. And I'm gonna peel the apple and cut it into small pieces. Most people would use a zester to get the zest off. The tool looks like this. Does this. So that would work, but not everyone has a zester, so let's not use that. The alternative is a fine microplane. That will work excellently and you can leave the shavings in the sauce, which is the preferred way. The third method is to create an infusion up front with the water before you add anything else. Use a regular peeler and just peel a thin strip off. See, as little white as possible. And that you can just throw into water or whatever other liquid you're using and extract that and filter it through before actually making the sauce. I'm going to use the microplane because a lot of people have that and it's a very handy tool anyways. So you should have that. I'm going to put half an orange zest into the one sauce and the other half into the other sauce. Let's set that aside. Then let's do the other half. Already smells fantastic in here. There's our orange peel. Now let's do the same thing with the lemon. Let's half that up. Half here, half there. For the apple, let's just peel that. Let's cut it in half and then quarter it. Take the core out. Depending on the size of the apple, you want to eat that. And now we're just going to slice that. So much for the prep work. So let's start with the first variety. I first want to do an infusion with the spices. In order to do so, I'm using a tea sack. You can get those on Amazon. That's essentially a tea bag you fill yourself. So its intended use is for brewing tea, particularly the larger size, lends itself perfectly to steep spices and herbs and stuff like that. And then what I'm going to do is add my three liquids. So I'm going to add the water, add the port wine, and add the pomegranate juice. And then I'm going to heat this up and throw this thing in. And this way I can let this steep for a few minutes while I'm cooking off the alcohol. Make sure some of the tea sack sticks out because it's of course open on the top. Of course, you can do the same thing without the tea sack. Just throw the spices in there and then quickly run the remaining liquid through a sieve. All right, after a few minutes of simmering this, we can pull our tea bag out. I'm gonna add a little bit of ground nutmeg now. I'm also gonna add 
my zest. So this is the lemon zest, the orange zest. I'm gonna add the orange juice concentrate. And of course, now the stars of the show, I rinsed those cranberries and now they go in. Now get this to a boil and then cook them for, let's say about 10 minutes until these things pop. It's been around 10 minutes. It's time to add the sugar. Of course, feel free to use less sugar if you want it less sweet. But I would definitely go with about a quarter cup at least. If you like this consistency, where you still have a few entire berries more or less, then you can just continue to cook this for another two or three minutes and be good. Personally, I don't like it that chunky. So what I'm doing is I just run an immersion blender through it. And I only do like little bursts because I do want a few chunks, just not a lot of them. There, this is more the consistency that I like. Still a few chunky bits in it, but mostly uh, kind of like a marmalade. I'm bringing this up to heat so that it's slightly bubbling and then I'm filling this into a jar. In order to avoid the jar breaking from filling it with a super hot cranberry sauce, I have some very hot water here in a little bowl and I'm gonna put my jar in here. That not only catches any splattering we do, but it will also pre-warm the glass so that it doesn't crack. I'm filling this all the way to the rim. The remainder will go onto a nice pork steak tomorrow. So I want no debris or anything on the seal. That means we need to wipe this. Careful, don't burn yourself. And you want to do this quickly because you want to retain as much heat as possible when you throw the lid on. There we go. And that's it. So I'm going to set this aside on a kitchen towel, upside down, and we'll let that cool off. So much for the first variation. Now let's get to the second one. For the second variation, we're starting with an empty pot and we're also going to do an infusion again. Let's start with a half cup of water and add the apple juice concentrate. Now toss in your sprig of rosemary and bring that to a simmer. Let this simmer for a few minutes just so that the rosemary infuses nicely. Already smells good. The reason why this variety is sweeter than the other one is that apple juice concentrate has more sugar than orange juice concentrate. All right, I think this is good enough. Let's pull that twig out. If there's any needles in there, pull them out. You don't want these bits in your sauce. Now add the apples. Add the zest. Orange and lemon. And toss in your cranberries. Stir. And bring up to a simmer. I'm going to put a lid on and let this bubble away for a few minutes on like medium heat. You don't want this too hot, otherwise the sugars in there will burn on the bottom. A few minutes have passed. Things are starting to break down. Now it's time for the sugar. Let's do a quick taste test. It's tart, it's sweet, and it has this little subtle hint of rosemary. Just what you want. On this variation, I do not want the more smooth consistency I did with the other one. I want some bigger pieces in this because of the apple pieces. And so all I'm going to do is use my potato masher and run that through a couple of times just to break up the remaining berries. But that's about it. Okay, I think this is smooth enough. Now we got to take the heat down a little bit again because this will start splattering. 
Same procedure as last time, just put it in there. Again, clean it up. Anything on the outside you can wash off later. Lid on. Pull out. Put upside down. If you found this episode useful, please like and subscribe. Of course, leave me a comment and happy Thanksgiving.